What's up guys and welcome to episode 11 of Game Dev. In this episode we're going to be taking a look at the shader and actually uh, loading in textures. You'll see that I created one here. Uh, and now for this episode, since we're not actually using a sprite class or anything of the sort, it's only, I'm only going to just set it to the one pixel up here. Uh, but next episode we'll actually turn it into a sprite so that we can load it on the fly. But this is the texture that I used. We're just going to use this one pixel again. Just a one by one. Okay. So, first things first, last episode we went into the shader and I actually noticed an error. This V call is actually a VEC4, so we don't really need this. Uh, and what I'm also going to do is I'm actually just going to remove that for now, just so we can completely see the, um, just so we can see that we're actually loading the texture and there'll be no application on top of that. We can put that back in later. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we need to add in these variables here. We added in this A text variable, so let's add that in up here. Uh, since it's a VEC2, we're going to increase this floats per vertex by 2, and we're subsequently going to add in the coordinate positions for that specific texture. We're, as I said, we're just going to use that one pixel thing right there, so we're going to set it at 0 and 0, and that's going to reference that top left pixel. Uh, we need to copy these now, and call it a text, text location here. Okay. And finally down here, we need to replicate this here and add these. So this, uh, let me just explain to you what we're going to do again. This one right here is going to just tell GL that we're using this uh, variable. And this right here is actually going to set the data as to where in this uh, array here we actually have it. So we have it at the seventh index because there's three dedicated for the position. One, two, three. There's four for the color. So one, two, three, four. And then this one is the seventh index and the eighth index. So we started at seven. Okay, so that's that. Uh, now we just need to load the texture here. So we're gonna say texture, text, new texture. And the path I have it at is text slash bg.png. Okay, and we actually need to pass in that texture GLS over here. So we'll say this.texture. And we'll go gl.texture. Is it just a texture? Texture. I don't remember what we made it. Yeah. So then down here, we're gonna go and load that texture dot text dot texture. Okay. So there's that. Let's run this and see if it works. Nope. Have an issue. Syntax error on varying. Okay, so if you look at here, I just put varying instead of varying right there. Another issue to correct. Run it. Now we have a black pixel here, and it's from now or before. Oh, clear that. Clear that. That's a black pixel. That shouldn't be black. So we seem to be doing everything right. Except the image source here for L. We never actually set that. So maybe that's it. Let's see. Aha! So now it's pink. There we go. So if I open it up with Photoshop and I change that color of that pixel, just make it look orange. And I save it and refresh the workspace. You can see that when I run it again, it'll be orange this time. Okay, so we are actually using that single pixel. And what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to multiply this back in by just do call, be call. And I want to know if the alpha channel. All dot alpha channel is less than five. It's gonna discard. Okay, so now we should have a gradient on top of that orange. And if I change that color around, like if I change it to let's just say pinkish again, then we go back, fresh, run it. 
you'll see that the gradient's actually different because we we're overlaying the colors that we're using up here on top of that gradient. So we can set these to zero and it'll do nothing to it. Um, so that's it for this episode. Uh, next episode, I'll actually turn this into a sprite and use the full 16 by 16 pixels and scale it onto this. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time.